statistics, histograms for group data with unequal intervals. In the previous one, we were looking at histograms with equal intervals, but now we will focus on unequal intervals. You will find this on page 674 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Histograms for group data with unequal class intervals. When drawing histograms, it is possible that the intervals will not have the same width. In order to keep the histogram fair, the area of the bars rather than the height must be proportional to the frequency. So on the vertical scale we plot frequency density instead of frequency. Now how do you find that frequency density? You just take the frequency and you divide it by the class width. Okay, let's look at an example. 500 eggs were sorted by mass into five different sizes. Small, medium, standard, large, extra large. And now, check the width of the classes, the class width. In this case, and I'm even going to write it, in this case it's 5. And in this case, 50 minus 40, it's going to be 10. And in this case, also 10. And in this case, it's going to be 50. And in this case, it's going to be 5. Okay, so can you see that they are not all equal? They are unequal intervals. Okay, draw an accurate histogram to represent this information. Use a scale of 2 cm to represent 5 grams on the horizontal axis. This is very important. And an area scale, and now this is even more complicated, of 1 square centimeter to represent 5x. Okay, now the first thing is you have to work out the frequency density. Now, first find the class width, just like I did it there. So if you subtract, you get 5, subtract 10, subtract 10, subtract 15, subtract 5. There's your frequency. Can you remember how do you work out your frequency density? It's the frequency di divided by the class width. So the frequency divide the class width and that will be 4. Frequency divide class width, 6. Frequency divide 20. Frequency divide class width, 12. Frequency divide class width, 8. Okay, so this is now going to be on my vertical scale. Okay, but now, if I look at the scales, now this is very important. The horizontal scale is not a problem. That means every 2 centimeters, you are just going to have 5 grams. So I move 2 centimeters, then it's 5. Another 2, then it's again 5. Remember also this, if I do this stripe, can you see there? That means I'm going to start at 35. I just show there was a gap, there was values beforehand, but my scale is going to start from there on. Okay, now the area, the y-axis, that's a bit more complicated. Now remember, and this is the most important, that the area is equal to the frequency. So basically, if the area must be equal to 20. Now, because this is a rectangle, how do we work out the area of a rectangle? It's length times breadth. So I want the area one square centimeter. Can you see? That is square centimeter, so that's the area. So put in the 5. What is your breadth? Now look. 1 centimeter, it's only up to there, will be 2.5. Can I show you there? That's 1. So it will be 2.5. Okay. Because up to there, it will be 37.5. So basically, that's 2.5. So 5 equals length times 2.5 to get the length 
Okay, now this is just going to be a division. So if it's multiply on this side, it's going to be divided on this side. And that will give me a length of 2. So basically, we have this is 2.5. We have the area is 5. And now we discover that this will be 2. That means for every centimeter, I'm going to have, just want to show you there. I'm going to have 2, 4, 6, and so on. Okay, let's move on. Now, as soon as I have my scales, then this is going to be far easier. Okay, let's just show you here. Can you see? Now, I have my scales. Remember, it's the gap, and then every 2 centimeters is 5. 2 centimeters 5 and then we worked out the area scale 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and basically we're just going to work out now now I just have to go back and see what, what is the first one it's between 35 and 40 I will go up to 4 so let's just see 35 and 40 I will go up to 4 can you see that? I'm just going to show you it's now just going back to the previous page. Between 40 and 50, the height, the frequency density, density will be 6. So can you see? Now I will go up to up to 6 there. And how can I see if it's, it's correct? I can say in this case, I'm going to say 5 times 4 is 20. But can you see? 5, 10, 15, 20. And if you look back, what was the frequency? The frequency was 20. So I go on and then it's up to 20 and it's up to 12 and it's up to 8. And every time I work with this width. So then it's going to be, let's just go to that page. Then it's going to be 20, 12 and it's going to be up to 8 and uh, you can test it by multiplying the length times the breadth or the length times the breadth and see if you get and that is what I showed you every time you get it equal to the frequency so very very important and this is very important the area of the bar is equal to the frequency Not, not the height. The area of the bar is equal to the frequency. Okay. If the classes have the same widths, the modal class is the one with the highest frequency. If the classes have different widths, the modal class is the one with the highest frequency density. Okay, so what will be the modal class? In this case, this one will be, it will be from 50 to 60. So that will be the model. Okay, let's move on. I want you to stop the video and do try now 27 number 1. Take note, we are going to do it on graph paper. Okay, let's start. On Sundays, Lee helps her grandfather feeds the chickens. Over a period of one year, she kept a record of how long it took. Her results are shown in the table below. Now, can you all see already? This class width is going to be 30. Okay, let's just write it in there. So this class width, okay, it's going to be 30. Okay, this one, 45 minus 30, it's going to be 15. This one, 16 minus 45, it's going to be 15. 75 minus 60, it's going to be 15. And then this one, let's just look at this one, okay. This one is going to be 90 minus 75, it's also going to be 15. And the last one, 120, it's going to be 30. So that is going to be my class width. Okay, now, how do I work out the frequency density? Can you remember? 
that will be equal to the frequency divide the class width. Okay, so if I do this, so in this case it's going to be 8 divided by 30. And 8 divided by 30, if I approximate it, 0 0.3. And then this one is going to be 5 divided by 50 and it's again to the nearest decimal place, zero, first decimal place, 0, 0,3. And then 8 divided by 15 uh, and that is going to be 0, 0,5. And then 9 divided by 15 is going to be 0, 0,6. And then 10 divided by 15 it's going to be 0, 0,7 and then 12 divided by 30 it's going to be 0, 0,4 okay so copy the table and complete it by calculating the frequency density give your answer correct to one decimal place can you see there use a scale of one centimeter to represent 15 minutes okay we'll keep this in mind uh, draw a hard, this is easy, so 1 cm every 1 is 15, a horizontal from 1 to 20. Use an area scale of 2 cm square. Okay, be careful. I'm just going to show it here to you. So, it's if you have 2 cm square, okay, can I just show you here how I calculate it? Okay, there's my blocks. Now, don't forget my horizontal. What is my horizontal? So, 1 centimeter is 15. So, say if this is 0, this is going to be 15, and this is going to be 30. Okay, so if this is, now they said 2 centimeter squared, this is that 2, can you see? So, remember, area equals length times breadth. So, just take note, we are going to work in this. That's 2 centimeters square. Okay. Now, if I work it out, it's not up to 1, it's up to 2. Now, what is the area? Now, let's see what is the area. What did I set? Using a, a 2 to represent 3 days. So, this is 3. Just get that pen correct. That is 3. Uh, okay, let's make, it doesn't matter, if you decide this is the length and this is the breadth, just show it to yourself. So, I don't know the length, but I know the breadth is going to be 15. So, to find the length, it's going to be 3 divided by 15, okay? So, if you're going to look at that, it's going to be 1 divided by 5, so it's going to be up to there, so 3 divided by 15 is 0 0.2. Can I just show you here? So that length will be 0 0.2. But remember, so 1 centimeter will be 0 0.1. So 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. But remember, because it was, can I just highlight this, 2 centimeter square, so it was 2 cm, so that answer that you get, you must write there. Okay, do you have your scales? Can we go over to the graph paper? So it's always good to first calculate for you this vertical scale before you go to the graph paper. Okay, now let's start on the graph paper. Okay, let's just make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's start by even still a bit bigger, by working with this, okay, let's just see, okay, there is my, and it's going up, okay, um, it's not so clear, so let's rather take another one, so this is going to be, this is going to be the mass, and this is in grams, And this is going to be the frequency density. Okay, now can you remember? We said every one is 15. 
So then this one, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, that I can see that scales better. So this one is going to be 30, and then this one is going to be 45, and this one is going to be 60, and this is going to be 75, and this is going to be 90, and this is going to be 105, and then this one is going to be 120. It will not work. Okay. 120. It's only up to 120. Can you remember this one? It was 0 0.1 because it was the 2 centimeter that was 0 0.2. Oh, I wrote it incorrect there. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and up to what will we go? 0 0.6. Um, it's only going up to 0 0.7. So we can only go up to there. Okay, now I go back to my graph. Okay, and I just have to find the values. So let's just go back and see what we must plot. So the first one, remember, it's from 0 to 30 and it's up to 0 0.3. So if I go... So it's 0 to 30 and it's up to 0 0.3. So there it will be. Okay, let's look at the next one. It's going to be 30 to 45 and it's also 0 0.3. So 30 to 45 and it's exactly the same. 0.3 and then the next one um, it's going to be 45 45 to 60 and it's 0 0.5 45 to 60 and it's going to be up to 0 0.5 okay and if you go back then the next one okay we can just go back okay and then it was um, 60 to 75 and that 0 0.6 60 to 75 and it's up to 0 0.6 okay and let's go back and then it's 75 to 90 75 to 90 and it's 0 0.7 oh that is your highest one 75 to 90 and it's up to okay and then we go back uh, it's going to be 90 the last one 90 to 120 and it's 0 0.4 90 to 120 and it's 0 0.4 to 120 oh sorry it's a bit And there can you see this is the way you draw a histogram when the class intervals are not equal